Drama, drama, drama. You know we can't play Call of Dragons without any Call of Drama happening. So we have here in front of us a civil war erupting between allies to season winners to all of a sudden all hell breaking loose. So in today's episode of Call of Drama, we're going to be covering what happened between FS, aka The Fear Show, and RR, aka Red Ribbon. What is up guys, Meow are here back with a brand new Call of Drama episode. We are, I believe, on episode 7 now. Right now, in server SOB2-2406, all hell has broken loose. We see allies turn enemies and enemies turn allies between two very distinct sides all of a sudden. So... What happened, really? What led RR, who were allies with FS and were fighting with alongside FS throughout the entire season, ensuring the victory for the season, to all of a sudden having a civil war breakout and them siding with the enemies of the season P2W? So let's just find out. Before we get started, I know comments and everything about call of dramas tend to get a little bit heated so i want to point out a few things before i dive in and call of drama i do my best to present both sides with the evidence given to me by both sides so that no misinformation is spread now whether if you agree or disagree with my point of view it is completely your opinion and you are a hundred percent entitled to your opinion uh, one more thing, the whole goal is to basically shine light and give you, the viewer, the perspective to fill in some gaps. Maybe you didn't know this happened or that happened. And ultimately have you, the viewer, formulate your opinion after watching both sides. So with that being said, of course, don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And we will start off this call of drama with the point of view of the R5 of FS, a.k.a. The Fear Show, Tiny. So get your popcorns. This is going to get really good. So starting off, I had a conversation with Tiny. He sent me the following. in zone. It started in Zone 2 when DBB and RR had their mock war. And RR got annoyed at DBB because they won the war. Mock war and taunted a little. This annoyed Kami. If you don't know who Kami is, Kami is one of the R4s of RR. Uh, they were amazing allies up until we took the Dragon platform. And they held out when we got disconnected and were great. We couldn't have asked for a better team to be with us. Once we won the platform, everything got worse. Kami got born, threatened to burn DBB because of his board, and in reaction, we delayed the towers around the north of the dragon and allowed them to come down to the right side to continue fighting. Once they got to the bottom, we told them to hold defense and not engage and fight. So, uh, basically, they were told to not engage and fight P2W because, well, RR can't really hold P2W in a 1v1. Moving on. Once they got to the bottom, we told them to hold defense and not engage their fight and fight. We were playing defense and only defense until they had to cut out P2W entirely from the zone, I believe. And then they could go to F2P's Magma and ensure more end of season rewards for all. They did like this and continued to push. We told them not to take the right pass as it would lead to complications and they took it anyway. They then screamed for help constantly and FS answered any, every time. The last two to three times we were fighting for hours with no sign of help from RR, which I, which then I came to Discord and spoke to RR about this. Kami then blew up as expected to, uh, as he expected us to fight and hold the line while his members did nothing about it, knowing full well we could not touch the flags over there and it was down to him to take advantage of that. So. We have some screenshots from Tiny here. I speak with him, of course, asking for screenshots. I want to avoid any he said, she said situations because in stuff like this, reputation really matters a lot. And when misinformation is spread, it tends to hurt quite a little bit. So screenshot number one, 
Kamikaze is asking, where do we build towards? Nowhere right now. We are defense. Then we attack. You can go uh, where Hoot is and put Hoot where you are so you can go to Magma Free to play. Yes, we want to go that way. We are bored. We will probably we'll probably will start fighting DBB else. Ow. I'm pretty sure Kami is 100% at follow this. This is the board name screenshot. Uh, you can see in there, we also told them to play defense. Here is him being impatient and waiting for wanting to be at the front ASAP. How long will it take? for hoot to relocate we are being stalled can you apply can you guys please tell me when you will clear hoot fort and dbb flag for us to build through an approx time so here there blah 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 just tell him that my phone is running gonna shut off so if he wants to spread send anything till i come back he is more than welcome to so here he sends another screenshot from kami uh, there's a lot of confusion. You can select a meeting point and go somewhere else. Guys, please don't give our art instructions in Union Chat or I'm breaking Union right away. Uh, again, Kami seems to be quite the troublemaker here. Uh, are, are threatening to break Union yet again when asked to ball up and help fight. Here I just tell him uh, I'm just going to be compiling everything into a video. Um, are, are broke Union now and are now fighting alongside P2W. So... What led to this? And what about P uh, RR's perspective? So I have some screenshots of the Discord between RR and FS, which pretty much broke everything, which pretty much broke the camel's back. But first, let's dive in to what Anubi has to say, the R5 of RR and his perspective on the matter. And then we're going to be visiting the screenshots provided from the discord conversation between both sides the issues along among rr dbb and fs are escalation series of absurdities and confusion so we try to proceed in an orderly and concise matter zone two we realized something was wrong with our relationship with dbb during the friendly war over zone two for us it was a past time and to avoid boredom while we were waiting for a subsequent zone but not for dbb they engaged in relentless trash talk and used elixirs and resources to win over an ally not a big deal but in zone five this is number two after helping fs regain control of the dragon and build all the lost towers due to their incredible carelessness <laughs> we were asked to attack free to play up to the magma in zone three, we were supposed to circle behind a dragon to reach the opposite side of the map from left to right. Meanwhile, FS and DBB were supposed to push P2W behind the pass. However, as you all know, this never happened, mainly because, well, FS had an incident with some forge and flags being deleted. But this is not really the topic of this video as it ties into internal drama of TFS. And for Call of Drama, I don't really enjoy covering internal drama of any alliance, really. I don't think I've covered any internal drama between in any alliance specifically. So I would like to keep it that way, well, for now at least, out of sign of respect and everything. Uh, number three, the result, we were in contact with P2W and free to play on the right so, uh, F2P on the right side of the map, and our towers were constantly under attack. Meanwhile, FS was were, was healing their troops leisurely and only occasionally, and only after our insistence coming to help us. Of course, complaining that they were forced to assist us while we were trying to follow a plan that FS itself was not following. They told us push, then scolded us for disturbing P2W their activity and constantly acting, asking for help. Number four, the final straw was the deep incursion of P2W when we found their towers almost almost under our fortress on the right side most of us were just waking up at the time and discovered our territory was about to be cut off leaving at least 50 of our players unprotected none of our allies intervened no one told us anything we fought almost alone all morning to secure the territory and even then we received little help from our allies and the usual trash talk number five at that point we decided to ask our players to move to a safe zone to heal troops which we were, were starting to dwindle. But this did not please our allies. For almost three consecutive days, we, re we received insults and threats from them after weeks of fighting to help FS. Those people had the nerve to threaten our players. Anyone who moved from Zone 5 would lose their, end, their right to the end of season rewards. Too bad it wasn't DBBs or FF says territory at risk but ours because P2W continued pushing towards us. Meanwhile, FS did nothing. 
We asked thousands of times for them to push down to distract P2W and relieve some of the pressure, but they never did until surprise. We started protesting and said we will no longer push. Then, and only then, FS built three towers to try to cut off P2W's territory. Meanwhile, threats against us never stopped. Communi- col- I don't know how to pronounce that word, whatever, (laughs) on Saturday with the theft of the Hydra in Zone 3, which we reconquered the attack on our builders and the nighttime attempt to take down our tower with contact in Dragon. So it seems like from our our side, they have been bullied and insulted and everything, but we did receive some very interesting screenshots from... FS and RR in the Discord. Um, let's just, you know, dive into them for as much as possible. On the 2nd of June, I'm fine with that. We have things covered uh, at the Dragon. I can have a closer look in a while. So RR was coordinating with FS. At, and then the 6th of June... Again, the Spire ain't working out. Can anyone from FS2 voice? We need to rethink strategy. I think the Spire in question was probably this one when RR was attempting to push out P2W and F2P. Here, uh, I think this is this was for this one's first. Uh, let me check the order of the screenshots here. Uh, Okay, yeah, this one. Hey, mate, it's fine for RR to go for the free F2P training hydron. Also take the pass on the th- far right. You won't have time for magma and hydra. Focus magma. So the one on the right pretty much is this one. Instead, they wanted to go for the magma demon here, which is pretty understandable, of course. End of season rewards are always more important. And then Kamikaze says, all right, can you VC? Sorry about sleeping. Is there anything important? We just wanted to discuss union and such, but we came to a decision. And the spine isn't working. We've already reviewed the screenshot. And then on the 7th of June, can we do voice today? We are being hit 24 hours. Everyone is helping in waves, but we're still being exhausted constantly. I think the strategy needs to look into. And then Jason response you are being hit on your offensive towers that are built towards p2w we help as much as we we help as we can there is no way for them to push you out the zone so stop overreacting if you're losing trades don't fight we can have a vc but the strategy stays which is go for the magma which is pretty understandable and pretty reasonable and then here i'm not really sure the date of the screenshot but i think this is from kamikaze or from tiny I think this is from Tiny because he says Jason yelled at me. So you guys weren't even being hit. DBB were, and you guys had about four people out attacking, which led to Jason to spam pinging me and waking me up. The one time I got to sleep when I logged online, there were no defenders on the flags, and you guys had no resistance to even to attempt to stop it. FS came over and wiped it in 10 minutes and then cleared the towers instantly. This is annoying as... Eh. I apologize for the rant, but I feel like it needed to be said. Jason G, yell at me if you have to and then moving on kamikaze says all i did was appreciate the support both fs and dbb offered but we have to heal now after non-stop fighting once we fight we can fight back we would uh, and then tiny says are you chose to start to non-stop fighting i told you to play defensive which is pretty reasonable again Please stop yelling <laughs> kind of talk. I'm trying to be civil. I'm done. Jason can handle you. What are you saying? We do what you ask. We drop towers to touch and remove P2W tower. And then here, uh, I'm not really sure what was being said here. I think some of these screenshots might be taken out of contest, but I'm just ha- dealing with the hand that was given to me. Uh, yes, we play defensive, we spam towers, and we finish our SS. Now P2W is pushing us like all days. Bro, P2W has not pushed you at all. It's been petty builders, no actual pushes or attacks. Your current towers, where are the P2W defenders? It's all builders. That's it. And then here, I think something happened afterwards, and then Tiny 
said this. Well, of course, they are they are going to continue pushing. If you do not put up a fight, you... Eh, eh, oh my god, I'm done. I'm actually done. Eh, F this. And then... And then here, Kamikaze responds. I think this is a response to this. Pretty much. Yeah, looking at the time. 12.49, 12.51. First, respect and apologize. Then we can finish season. Bro, you want to go that route? Yes, bet. Good luck out there. You're done. Can we send FS ball and then here tiny says we will burn our r f them and then here afterwards deal with your alliance instead of waiting for fs to come save the day you haven't even tried to push the builders i said i'm done assisting r r another r4 can deal with you guys i've had enough headaches from you people good luck and then from what i gathered and what i understood um which i think it was with osatoro here one of the other r4s of r r from F side, DBB, and then at the end here, the way they treat us. Yes, we've been sometimes, we yes, sometimes we're being impatient. At the time, we're wasting alliance resources while we want to move forward. We've seriously, we're seriously helping our allies and want to do more, but it's not serious like we want to burn anyone in the way. It's not a little threat from Kami about directing unions, cause confusion side and on our side. To make a push, yes, we're making TP out because we can't defend. And then the way they treat us as allies in the end broke down with no respect. We always follow the plan. We best we give the best to our allies and they're not giving us any respect only because we're asking for help and talk shit to our leadership. When we withdrew from our zone 5, they messaged all our T5 to keep fighting and give end of season rewards as payment, which is this screenshot. Here, hey, I'm reaching out to all our, our players who want to keep fighting. Our, our leadership has chosen not to listen to any of the orders that have been given to them and chose to do their own plan now to refuse to fight and cry that they're being attacked because they built in a way that they weren't supposed to. If you would like to fight and secure your end of season rewards, please let me know. And then finally here, Jason pretty much hands everything down, which I'm pretty sh sure I should have showed this first. Let me be clear here, if you, uh, I think this is if you don't like my leadership and don't do uh, S while we fight your fights and show no support while we defend you constantly, I will gladly join P2W in burning out the zone, wake TF up and do S when you, and listen when you're being effing pinged, and if you don't answer me, acknowledge what the F I'm saying. I'm set and help your effing allies. Bumblebee, I assume, is DBB. Tiny, do what you see is needed. I'm not going to give a F about them being here. So this is pretty much what has transpired so far. I believe if I'm missing something, of course, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong about something, you know. But, of course, I've only given what I've only narrated was given to me. So, yeah. Is it an awful situation? 100%. Does this jeopardize the season for FS? Maybe. I don't know. It will depend on if P2W can wake up some activity, bounce back, push back. But you never know, really know with Call of Dragons and everything that happens. Quite an unfortunate turn of events, to be honest. First, the fort burning and everything, and now this. Huh. Oh, well. I think that is everything for today's episode of Call of Drama. Now, me personally, I feel like this could have been handled so much better. There's really never a need to just explode at your allies. I know I always say this in the heat of the moment. Emotions are high. Thinking is low. So people tend to lash out. I'm personally guilty of that the other day. I did that as well. I lashed out. But still you know sometimes you have to show respect to others to get them to listen to you but maybe that's a topic for a different video but for now i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to drop a like don't forget to subscribe join the discord i'm having a giveaway going on right now in the den for reaching a thousand members in the discord of course Every single, you have five winners for $10 each. So be sure to join. It will be a blast. And of course, I would enjoy 
interacting with all of you there. But on that note, thank you so much for watching. If you like content like this, please be sure to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Meow, meow. If you enjoyed this video, click here to watch the next video. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow.